click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about three phase voltage source inverter. So friends, as we all experienced about the working operation of an inverter, how a single phase inverter works and how we can change the transistor switching time to invert the input DC voltage to an alternating output AC voltage. Now friends, let's talk about how a three phase inverter is being constructed, how it works and what are its operation and applications. Now friends, if you can see in this diagram, this is a DC supply in the input which is Vs is the peak value of the DC supply or the DC supply value. Now I'm getting three phase inverting output voltage and N is the neutral. A, B, C are the three phases. Now friends, this is the block diagram of an inverting output. Now friends, so in this block diagram of a three phase full wave inductor, so here friends, inverter 1, inverter 2 and inverter 3 inverts for each specific phase and let's say VAN is the phase voltage or the first inverter output, VBN is the phase voltage of the second inverter output and VCN is the phase voltage of the third inverter output. Now friends, let's say VAD is the inverter output 1, VBE is the inverter 2 output, VCE is the inverter three output. Now, now if we go a bit detail, here friends, you can see a single phase or we can say a DC input value or DC input voltage is being converted to a three phase output voltage where A, B, C are the three terminals where the phase or line voltages are AD, BE and CF. So hence we can get a three phase inverted output voltage or three phase alternating voltage from a DC voltage by the operation of transistors and diodes as shown in this figure. So friends here as per this figure you can see I have connected several transistors those are Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5 and Q6 and in this side Q1 dash, Q2 dash, Q3 dash, Q4 dash, Q5 dash and Q6 dash. And in parallel to the transistor, I have connected diode D1 to D6 and D1 dash to D6 dash. Now friends, the diodes are called free wheeling diode. I need this diode as a free wheeling or flyback diode so that it discharges the inductor current while discharging. Now, now I can operate the transistor in different time modes so that I can get the alternating output voltage. Now friends, there are three modes of operation of a three phase inverter. So there are mode one, mode two and mode three. Now friends, as we all know, there are different R loads if we connect across the output. So there will be three voltages across three R loads considering three different resistive load across the output terminal or through which we want to see the output voltage. Depending on that, there are three mode of operation. One is mode 1, mode 2 and mode 3. If we draw the circuit diagram of three mode of operation, it looks like. So friends, let's talk about mode 1. So in case of a mode 1, the connection looks as such. So this is the input voltage Vs, which is DC input voltage. And we have got one more register across here and this would be the neutral output or the neutral terminal of the three phase output voltage. Now friends say this is the I1 which is the input current for a single phase. Now this is called mode 1 and mode 2 connection looks like this. So this is plus and minus this is minus plus or this is neutral and say this is or this will be the negative amount of current that will be flowing that is called minus I2 or I2 would be flowing in this direction. Now friends in mode 1 these two registers are in parallel and this is in series with the combination of these two. 
but in mode 2 these two are again in parallel and this is in series with the combination of these two however the current flow is in reverse direction so friends let's talk about mode 3 now so the mode 3 connection looks like same as mode 1 so where i'm so giving a supply which is vs now this is register r and another register of the same value is connected in parallel and both are connected in series with the third register of same value and let's say this is the neutral terminal now let's say this is i3 now if we calculate the equivalent register of these modes so we get r eq is the r equivalent that is equal to r plus r divided by 2 that is equal to 3 r divided by 2 because these two registers are in parallel and this is in series with the combination of these two registers now friends let's calculate what will be the value of the input current now friends i1 will be equal to vs divided by r equivalent that will be equal to 2v by 3r now if we calculate the phase voltage van will be equal to vcn will be equal to i1 by r divided by 2 that is equal to vs divided by 3 again vbn is equal to minus i1 r because vbn is negative that is equal to minus 2 by 3 into vs so friends now if we draw the waveform of the same circuit let's say i'm drawing a waveform where this is omega t and let's say this is van and if i consider this is pi this is 2 pi so the waveform will be it will start from vs it will go up to 2 vs divided by 3 again it will come down again it will become vs up to pi now friends at pi it alters the terminal to minus vs so this will be minus vs again it will go up to minus 2 vs by 3 again it will come this way again it will come to minus vs up to the time period 2 pi and the same process keeps on continuing now friend let's talk about what happens to bn if i consider omega t here and v b n in this axis so i am going to get a waveform like this and this process keeps on continuing so hence friends so this will be pi and this value will be 2 pi so this is how the voltage across the phase of b point or vbn looks like now friends let's talk about different modes as we already discussed about mode 1 operation let's talk about what happens during mode 2 so friends during mode 2 r equivalent is equal to r plus r by 2 that is equal to 3 into r divided by 2 i2 becomes vs divided by r equivalent that is equal to 2 vs divided by 3 r and remember friend mode 2 is when omega t lies from pi by 3 to 2 pi divided by 3 now again van is equal to i2 into r that is equal to 2 vs divided by 3 again vbn is equal to vcn that is equal to minus i2 into r divided by 2 that is equal to minus vs by 3 so this is what happens during mode 2 but important to remember is mode 2 happens when omega t lies between pi by 3 to 2 pi by 3 now friends let's talk about what happens in mode 3 so friends during mode 3 which occurs when omega t lies between 2 pi divided by 3 to pi here friends 
r equivalent is equal to r plus r divided by 2 that is equal to 3r divided by 2 hence i3 becomes vs divided by r equivalent that is equal to 2vs divided by 3r again van is equal to vbn is equal to i3 into r divided by 2 that is equal to vs divided by 3 so what happens to vbn vbn becomes equal to vbn or VBN it becomes equal to VAN. Hence, if we calculate VCN, it becomes minus I3 into R that is equal to minus 2VS divided by 3. These are the three modes of operation of a three phase inverter. Now, friends, let's calculate the average output voltage and the instantaneous output voltage. Now, friends, if we calculate the phase voltage at each terminal, so we get VAB is equal to summation n is equal to 1, 3, 5 to infinite 4 Vs divided by n pi cos n pi divided by 6 sin n omega t plus pi by 6. If the same value of VAB is expressed for n number of cycle, we get the expression as this. Now, the value of V BC will be equal to for n number of waveforms n stands from 1 3 5 all the odd harmonics to infinite 4 Vs divided by n pi into cos n pi divided by 6 into sin n omega t minus pi divided by 2 in the same way VCA is equal to summation n is equal to 1 3 5 to infinite 4 vs divided by n pi cos n pi divided by 6 sin n omega t minus 7 pi divided by 6 friends so let's talk about what happens to the inductor voltage so the voltage across the inductor would be 2 pi 2 divided by 2 pi integration of 0 to 2 pi divided by 3 v s square d omega t and it will be under root so which becomes under root 2 by 3 into v s that is equal to 0 0.8165 into v s that's the average value of the inductor current so friends here in this video we discussed about how a three phase inverter works and what is the principle of operation we talked about different modes of operation we derived the value of the voltage and current phase voltage and phase current during different modes and we draw the waveform during different modes and we talked about the time interval as well and we finally calculated VAB, VBC, VCA and in addition to that we calculated what is the value of average inverter output voltage. Thank you so much friends for watching this video. Please subscribe to Ikeda and stay tuned with Ikeda. Thank you so much.